At this point, we've created resource mailboxes. Now, as an administrator, you don't want to be responsible for every room, projector, laptop, and so forth that your company might have. So the logical thing to do here is to delegate that responsibility to someone else. So whoever it is that will eventually be handling the scheduling, we're going to just call them scheduler here. We're going to give them their own user account and mailbox. And then what we need to do is to allow permissions for this user to have control over the resource mailboxes which is something we can do from the Exchange Management Console or the Shell. We'll do it from the console just because it's easier. So for starters, we have the Conference Room mailbox, we have the Projector mailbox. So we're looking at two different types, but it's pretty much the same structure as far as giving permissions to someone else. In this case, we can right-click, and you notice we have Manage Send As Permission or Manage Full Access Permission. In this case, we're going to give someone Full Access Permission, and so we have the manage full access permission little wizard that comes up in this case we'll click add and we'll locate the user that we're going to use here the scheduler and so the individual that has access to the scheduler mailbox will also have access then to this resource mailbox so we'll click manage and you can see here that the PowerShell command would have been add dash mailbox permission and so we could have done it this way through the Exchange Management Shell. We click Finish. And so now the individual with the scheduler mailbox can access and work with the Conference Room 1 resource mailbox. And we'll show you exactly how to do that in the next lesson.